this look is literally like so easy y'all better not have a problem creating this look like It's your girl Amara here. Welcome back to my channel, Love Love Lloyd. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I get this very basic, easy, beginner-friendly, natural look. And if you want to see how to achieve this look, keep on watching. Starting off, I'm using my number seven beautifully matte makeup base. I'm gonna be placing that on my eyes because the consistency is a little bit thinner and lighter than a normal eyeshadow base. Next, I'm gonna be using my black opal pressed powder as my eyeshadow. I'm placing that on my lid in the shade is truffle as you can see I'm placing it on my entire lid next I'm going in with my Mac blush in blunt and as you can see I'm placing that right over the pressed powder I added before which was truffle um, blunt just has like a warmer undertone it is really a blush it's not an eyeshadow but it has a very light application to the eyelid and my eyes never feel heavy so that's why I love this look after placing the um, powder I'm going in with a very thin line as close at, to my lash line as possible as you can see then I'm gonna also water um, line my bottom lash line and my waterline as well and I'm gonna smudge that out next I'm going in with my elf color correcting concealer I'm just gonna go under my eyes around my nose around my mouth and that's pretty much it I'm gonna blend that out Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline fit me matte plus poreless foundation in the shade 340 cappuccino as you can see I am pressing it into the skin with my dense foundation brush and that's my technique that's how I like to apply foundation to my skin I like to press it into my skin because I feel like I get a fuller coverage, which I love. Then I'm going to set the foundation with my RCMA uh, face powder. After that, I'm going to go in with my Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. Place that on the forehead, under eye, bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow. And as you can see, I'm using the same technique I use for my foundation. I'm just pressing that into my skin. Now I'm going to set my concealer with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm going to go underneath the eyes, the forehead, the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, chin, everywhere that I highlighted, I'm going to set. And I'm not going to be baking. I'm going to be pressing the powder into the skin, as you can see because we're going for a natural look. Next, I'm going to take that same truffle powder from Black Opal and I'm going to be using that as my contour shade. I'm just putting it in the middle of my jaw and my cheekbone. And I'm also going to dust a little bit on the top of my forehead. I'm also going to be contouring my nose, as you can see here. After that, I'm just going to be putting some mascara on my bottom lashes. I did apply some lashes to the top and that was the Ardell Wispies. Oh my god, y'all. I was so annoyed that I got mascara on my nose. But I'm going to show you guys how to remove it once I'm done. Next, I'm going in with my Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. And I'm using that to clean up my brows. Then I'm going to go in and blend it in as much as possible. I'm going back in with the powder and blunt just to clean it up and make it like more of a transitioned color and more smooth. Next, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant Illuminating Palette. And I'm just going to find one of the colors to use as a highlight brow bone. Ladies, it does not have to be perfect. Um, as you can see, mine isn't perfect. This is literally the easiest natural makeup, so you don't need to have like a glammed out look, but you still want to look good. <laughs> so here I allow the mascara to dry. Now I'm just taking my um, tweezers and I'm just scraping it off. 
as much as possible then I'm gonna go over with my brush that has some leftover concealer I'm gonna buff that off then I'm going back on top of it with some more concealer and then I blend it into the nose and after that I went back in and contoured and then I added my highlight as you can see and now I'm adding highlight to the tear ducts of my eye. And this is pretty much the finished look guys. After that, I'm gonna spray my face with my Maria Badescu uh, facial spray. This look is literally like so easy. Y'all better not have a problem creating this look. Like. Okay, lovies, and that concludes this video. I hope you all like this look. I hope you all try it out because, as you can see, it's definitely easy, definitely beginner-friendly. And don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Share, 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 and more share. And until next time, lovies, remember to always live, love you. Bye, guys.